For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, now we're going to do this problem that says three forces act on the bracket. Determine the magnitude and direction of theta and f, of theta and f of 1 so that the resultant force is directed along the positive x prime axis and has a magnitude of 800 which is much bigger than the forces over here. So this is f of r. Alright, so what you gotta do is again break down the forces. Let's start with f of 1, x in the i because we don't know it, and y in the j because we don't know it. f2, when you're doing this, try to line them up so they're easier to add. So f2 is 0 on the x uh, direction and it's positive 200 on the y direction. f3 is 180, negative 180, times 12 over 13i, plus 180 times 5 over 13j. When you solve this, you get that this is negative 166.15i, and the other one is 69.23j. So now that you got the three forces, you know that the resultant force is 800 at an angle of 30 degrees, because if this is 60, this is therefore 30, and you know that the x component is 800 cosine of 30i plus the y component, which is 800 sine of 30j. Therefore, this is 692.8i plus 400j. Now all you gotta do is you gotta add the axes together here and the axes are gonna equal this number and the y's You're going to add them together and they're going to equal that number. So you get x plus 0 uh, plus negative 166.15 is equal to 692.8. When you solve for x, you get that this is equal to 858.95 in the x direction. Now that let's do the y. y plus 200 plus 69.23 is equal to 400. So y is equal to 130.77. So these are the components of F1. Now, since F1 is equal to 858.95i plus 130.77j, you need the magnitude and the direction. Magnitude easy. Uh, the magnitude of uh, f1 can be found by doing the square root of x squared plus y squared which we already found. When you plug those numbers in, this x and this y, when you plug these numbers in, you're gonna get that the magnitude is 868.8. Now to find the angle, and I mean this angle, not the angle that we're looking for, that angle can be found Let's call it phi by doing the tangent inverse of the tangent inverse of the y over the x component and it's going to give you 8.656 degrees when you plug in the numbers but that's not the angle that we're looking for we're looking for this angle so just by looking at it we know that this whole thing is 90 this is 60 and this is 8 therefore theta is equal to 90 minus 60 minus phi which gives you 21.34 degrees and this is the angle that they ask us to find because they're crazy and this is the magnitude of f1 final answers <laughs>